What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got for you some low level plyos. So these are gonna be good for beginners or people coming back from an injury. So the most important thing to remember is you wanna be under control when you do these. Um, it's no good going fast to where you're out of control and not stable. So focus on that, control your landings, be super stable in your movements, and make sure if you are turning from an injury that you're cleared to do this stuff before you jump right in. Uh, the last thing you want is to go too far ahead and then end up hurting yourself. And if you are a beginner, just make sure that, like I said, you are under control. Uh, make sure you know the movements before you do them. Just practice them a little bit and don't be too nervous to jump into plyos. I know there's a lot of stuff about them, but they're gonna be super helpful. So just make sure you do it, stay under control. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We post new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays, so make sure you subscribe to keep watching. Hope you guys like it. So you're gonna get pogos, double leg, single leg, and then alternating. When you do pogos, just really use your feet. Try not to go through your ankles, knees, or hips. Just push off through your feet. Try to keep your ankle nice and stiff. Nice. In case you missed the last video, this is Norm, our Christmas tree. Perfect, yeah, with alternating, basically just scissor it back and forth. Same thing, still bounce off your feet. Snap downs, we're gonna start double leg square, and then we're gonna go to split stance right after. So you wanna actively pull yourself down when you do these. Notice how his knees end in line with his toes, and then his shoulder is, shoulders are right above his knees. All right, so split stance. Start up high when you land. Notice how Spence pulls himself down that knee is still over the toe, shoulder still over the knee, and notice his back heel, how it's popped up the whole time. It doesn't go down like his front does. Perfect. Good, make sure you squeeze everything when you do this. So now we're just combining those two. So you're gonna hit some pogos, and then you're gonna go into a snap down. Another thing with these snap downs is make sure that your knees stay out. Don't let them cave in. Perfect. And then you're gonna go pogos to a split stance snap down. There you go, yep. You don't need to get into a crazy split, uh, split stance when you do this. It's basically a split squat, but he's not like crazy far with it. You don't wanna be lunging. All right, so broad jumps. So when you do these, you're jumping forward, stick it in between each one. So notice how he lands kind of in that snap down position. His butt doesn't sink, he just sticks it hard. All right, next up we got vertical jumps. So same thing, stick it for a second, land in that snap down, perfect. I don't really care how high you jump on this. You just wanna make sure that you stick it, perfect. Watch his knees, how they stay out. Good. All right, now we're moving on to lateral jumps. Same thing, land in that snap down. Especially when you do lateral jumps, don't let your knees cave in. Really squeeze your butt. Stick each one for a second. Absorb that landing. Double leg hurdle jumps. Jump over each one. Make sure you stick the landing and then get into the other one. So it's not about how fast you do it. Just stick the landing. Good. Same thing going lateral. You're gonna jump over, stick the landing, keep your knees out, don't let them cave in. You're gonna go one facing one way, the other one facing the other way. Good. I wanna do it from the norm. Next up we have skaters, so you're gonna be on one leg, you're gonna jump to the other one, stick it. So you wanna make sure that your knee's slightly bent, squeeze your butt. If you don't squeeze your butt, sometimes people get too toe heavy, and then it becomes super quad dominant and super stressful on the knee. 
So when you land, absorb it more in the posterior. That'll help your balance and like I said, take some of that stress away from the knee. So we're just gonna be here. You're just gonna jump back and forth, just like this. Now we have zigzag hops. So we're gonna be on one leg, kind of like skaters, kind of like a broad jump. You're gonna jump diagonal and then stick it. Stick it the same way you do your skaters, knee slightly bent, absorb it in your butt. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Next up we have steps to a decel. So two steps, three steps, whatever you want. Then you're gonna decel hard in that split squat, split stance, whatever you wanna call it. Perfect, make sure once again, you don't push up on your toes. You keep everything evenly distributed through your foot. If you push up on your toes, you get way too knee heavy and that will be bad news bears. All right, so this next one really depends on the level you're at, how high you can jump, if you're coming back from injury, whatever it is. So we're just gonna start with the six inch. You are just gonna do a two leg jump to a single leg land. So when you land, knee slightly bent, absorb it in your glutes. You wanna make sure that with this one, you are able to jump before, and you wanna make sure that you are very good at that snap down, absorbing, force, and landing. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go single leg jump, double leg land. Perfect. Notice how he lands once again in that snap down. Nice and steady. Make sure you go off both feet. Okay, last thing, multi-planar hops. So you notice he does a lateral jump out, lateral jump in, and then a jump up. Perfect. If you can't go as quickly as fences, then just slow it down. Make sure you're steady and you're stable each landing. You don't wanna rush through to where you're wobbling. He just had a lot of practice with these. Good. Hi, Norm. Bye, Norm. Hey, get it. Bye, Norm. <laughs>